Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today I thought you might be interested in actually taking a look at the updated Freelancer that's now flyable and available uh, in the uh, Arena Commander, uh, well I guess actually just Alpha 2.1 PTU. Now with this, the only one that's currently available that's had its update done is the stock Freelancer, but if you are using a different Freelancer, um, you do get the ability to use this in flight. Now it's not available in hangar, which is why we're going to be looking at this in game uh, as opposed to in hangar, but we found a nice little landing pad to make that happen. So with the updated Freelancer, you can see it is just a lot sharper looking. Um, it's a, one of the things I talked about in the holiday live stream was the ability to actually have this thing uh, kind of match the overall design of the MISC ships. And one of my favorite updates, and I'm not sure how well you can see it is, but up here, let me change the view, right up there above the cockpit, it's a little bit more rounded. And that's one of the uh, kind of designs that was off of the uh, Starfare, and I was glad to see that they implemented this into the ship. In addition to that, the Freelancer's grown, too. You can see that she's a much bigger girl at this point, um, and she almost has this nice metallic sheen to her. She's a really interesting looking ship, and frankly, with these missile, with these guns on the side, it's just borderline intimidating. I mean, the way this thing, look, look at these freaking guns. <laughs> you know, and they sound crazy. Now, they're bugged out for me at the moment, and I'll show this to you when we take off. And um, it'll be one of the last things I do because it's really annoying because the guns never stop firing and that sound gets stuck. Uh, but they are beasts. Now, in addition, um, previously when we were getting into the Freelancer, there used to be a set of stairs right here that you went into. Now, that's no longer going to be the case on the Freelancer. Um, we actually have this uh, little doorway over here. Now, I'm not sure if this is functional or not. We're testing this out together. It doesn't appear to be, at least for me. I tried it from the inside too, but you'll get an idea of how this is going to work. And I like this design better because it just feels like a better usage of space. Um, but there's that door, and we'll take a look at that from the inside in just a second. Uh, landing gear, uh, simple yet functional, just based on hydraulics, comes right out the bottom of the uh, primary nacelles over here. Um, in addition, you can kind of see the way they actually connect. You get the big uh, GN-themed uh, maneuvering thrusters throughout the ship. Uh, pretty nice little missile armament, uh, kind of basically just covering the wings. And then as we come around the back, we get to see the interior, which is where we saw the primary rework that actually happened. Uh, and we are now inside the ship. And in here, you get to see that we've got various different ways that you can go about securing your cargo. Um, you know, we've got the uh, netting on the side that'll probably be able to be functional. Uh, we also uh, get our first taste of some of the, like, the locking plates on the floor. Um, you know, you can see that you're mainly going to be stacking your cargo on the middle, all the way through these red lines, um, except for there. That's your turret access. You're not going to want cargo there, otherwise you can't get into your gun, which is a bad plan. And then you've got these walkways along the edges, so you keep your cargo in the middle. They could have gone with two different ways of doing this. They could have shoved it all off to the side, or they could have shoved it off to this side and left you a little path here. Um, but I kind of like the way this was done. And again, you can see they got the magnetic plates that are down here to lock your cargo in place to make sure it's not just flying around like crazy when you're actually inside of the ship flying. Now, we mentioned the turret. We now have a working turret finally in the Freelancer, which is a really exciting proposition because it was one of those things that was just dangled there in front of us almost as a tease before. Um, but now we actually get a working turret that you can see is movable, it's effective, uh, and will be a weapon that you can actually use. Careful, you'll notice the red reticle <laughs> shows that you're targeting a friendly. So I'm going to try that once we actually take this beast off. Um, I don't want to use it yet just because I know that uh, when I was using the primary guns we got this weird audio glitch and I don't want to do that while I'm talking. Um, so let's go ahead and show you the rest of the ship as we move forward walking where there would be cargo. We get to the rear bulkhead leading you to another cargo zone. Now this one's a little bit different. Cargo goes on the outside and again you can see the locking pads down there. There, there. Um, I don't know if this ends up being a more secure place to keep cargo or a less secure place or just another place, but you also get the upper airlock right there. So if somebody wants to dock with you by force or because you're allowing them on, that would be the primary place for them to come in. And then with based on having a bulkhead here and here, um, you could come in, uh, pressurize, and not have to worry about a negative impact to the rest of the ship. Moving up, we get our kind of crew quarters section. 
Um, this is the doorway that I was talking that I showed you from the outside, and you can see that um, these stairs are going to shoot down and be your access into this ship. Now it doesn't look like your normal staircase. It looks like it's going to be almost like a uh, ramp in a way, but until we actually get this thing able to deploy, it's going to be hard to really say for sure. Um, also, we get our little bathroom areas. I don't believe these open yet, but these are going to be your bathrooms and showers. Um, and here is actually another control panel for your crew members to use. Um, this is the most detailed design that I've seen in one of these so far. And uh, while it's not functional at the time being, you get an idea of the type of fidelity that this is going to have. And while there's plenty of seats up front for your crew, you could also just have them accessing things here. Um, and maybe this actually has different impacts, or maybe this has to do with like cargo organization where stuff up front is more avionics related. Up here we get our bed areas, which also double as escape pods. Uh, these are workable right now. Uh, you got your four beds. Uh, this one up here comes with a nice lady. So as I showcase how to get into bed, let's go ahead and get into that bunk. Because why not, right? So we come in, we lay down. Um, we're obviously not laying the right way because the screen is down at the other end and unfortunately we can't tilt our head back to look at that sweet little poster um, but getting out of bed is nice there's a really cool animation here where you kind of jump out of the bed um, which is nice because it's realistic you know no one's going to slowly crawl out of bed you're just going to kind of hop yourself out and get moving on your uh, you know with your action and then as we move into the bridge it's well done it's much better than it used to be um, and again, the purpose for this airlock here is very similar to the, how they redid the uh, Andromeda and the Constellation series. It doesn't make sense to have everything in there reliant on that one back airlock. This gives those redundancies that you need and really isolates the cockpit from the habit, uh, habit, I don't know, the habitation, the uh, crew quarters, whatever you want to call it. Pilot seat, co-pilot seat, dudes still chilling in the back seat. Um, you've got all these different options available to you. but. That's it. That's the interior and exterior of the ship. And the rework makes me kind of want to get a con or a uh, freelancer because it looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and take this girl out for a drive. And she handles really well. Now, how this ends up being different when we're Systems actually on. running up. Damn it. I wonder if that back door is going to close on its own. And we'll find out. So, nope, that's going to be open. Well, what Black can you do? Hood. Activated. User controlled landing on. Yep. Request to oh. land approved. Oh no. What have I done? Combat HUD activated. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so inside the Freelancer, um, it actually is a really pleasant flying experience. It's fairly agile, it's fairly fast. Um, I'm hearing reports that it's actually broken as far as the boost is concerned, um, and that it actually is... Uh, it's to the point where you can go faster than anybody and you get unlimited boost. So I'm holding it down right now and we're going 522. Um, so the afterburner is a little out of control. This is way too fast for a ship like this. Okay, let's slow down. However, you can see that maneuvering is effective. The audio is effective. It sounds like a big, powerful ship, which I think is what you actually want. Um, and then in addition, let's go ahead and I'm going to go try the turret gun first because I know these front guns have bugged out on me before and I don't want to screw that up in this video and have to go back. Um, and maybe we'll take advantage of closing that back door because who knows what sort of negative impact that's having on our ship's performance right now. Door, door, door. Open space. How cool is that to look at? I mean, seriously. Let's close this door. We're at risk, but... Okay, enough of that. Sand Castle moved in from Planet Express crew by the server. All right, here we go. Up the airlock, into the gun. Ah, oh, no poo poo. Maybe the ship is off since I'm not in the front seat. Damn. Well, I'll tell you what, if I actually get into the PTU and get to do some combat in one of these things, we'll try that and I'll kind of do a follow-up video. Um, but I did want to come to the front of the ship and show you those bearing cannons on the side going because the sound they make is incredible. Then we'll wrap this up and I'll try and actually get into some normal flight with this um, so I can give you a real flight overview. But right now I just wanted to more tease it than anything because it's kind of the first look at it. All right, so you, you ready for this? Hold on, let me show you this real quick. Uh, we, we've kind of wondered about the uh, flexibility on the angles of the guns. Look at these things. 
We've seen that Cutlass commercial where they, or the Freelancer commercial where they shoot the Cutlass right on the side. You kind of get an idea of the versatility on these guns. Uh, I'm not a mouse pilot, so let me get back to interior. Stop spinning. This is getting out of control. But, here, I'm just going to shut up. Listen to this thing. <laughs> are, I mean, are you kidding me? So, there it is. I mean, it's bugged out. It's going to do that. Um, it's not going to stop. So, we're going to go ahead and end that. But I hope you guys are getting excited about this. Um, and just make sure you're staying tuned for more content. Uh, because we will have a lot more coming soon. So, thank you for watching. Have yourselves a good day. Take care.